Hey everyone, this is Helen, Product Manager at Parallel Finance. As you all might know, we have officially secured a Kusama parachain slot in October. This was an extremely important milestone for us because it enabled us to launch Heiko on Kusama's network. On October 28th, we've officially launched the Money Market platform and it is accessible through app.parallel.fi. The main difference between this site and Testnet is that you're no longer using Testnet tokens, you're using Rio Kusama's now. When you first come on this site, you'll be taken to the overview page and you'll see a simple dashboard up here. Your net worth is your asset minus your debt amounts. This wallet amount here is what's deployable on the platform. Deposit is your principal. This is the amount you've deposited from other networks into parallel. The loan amount here is the amount that you've borrowed and are expected to repay back. The first step that you want to do when you come on this site is to deposit assets into parallel from other networks. And the way to do that is to come into this asset and other network table, clicking into deposit, entering an amount like 0.1, submitting, confirming, sign your transaction after you type your password. And you notice that there's a progress bar up here. Once it's successful, you'll notice that your balance in your other network table will decrease and your amount in parallel will increase. You'll notice that we have a second asset here, which is Heiko. This is a native token to parallel Heiko, and it is currently being used as fees. Once you have a balance in parallel, you come into the lend and borrow tab and you can do two main things. You can lend and you can borrow. So to lend, you'll be in the deposit toggle. And if you're to borrow, you'll be in loans. If you want to lend, you'll earn a interest. And this is based on the APY. This earned amount here is based on the amount that you supply to the lending market and it increases every block. So to supply, you click on supply, add in a value like 0.1, submit your transaction, confirm it, sign it. And once it's successful, you'll notice that your supplied amount here will increase and you'll start earning interest on the supplied amounts. If you want to borrow, you'll need to first enable the collateral toggle. For me, this is already enabled because I've been doing a few test transactions on my account already, but for you, it will be automatically disabled when you first come here. To enable it, all you have to do is to click on the toggle, sign your transaction. Once that goes through, you can start borrowing. And the amount that you can borrow, you can basically see up here in the borrow limit left. I have about $400 um, borrow limit and I've used about 45% of it. If you were to borrow, go into the loans toggle. I have 0.9 KSM borrowed at the moment. Click into borrow. Let's say I want to borrow 0.2 KSM for tests. Confirm it. You can also click here so that you don't have to type your password every time. Once you borrow and it goes through, you'll notice that your borrow amount will increase from 0.9 to 1.1 in this case, and the USD equivalent will also increase as well. If you want to repay your loan back, you simply go into repay. Let's say I want to repay 0.3, submit, confirm, sign the transactions. And while this is processing right now, in a few seconds, you'll notice that the borrow amount will decrease to 0.8. Similarly, the USD amount will be about 0.8 in KSM. So in the lend and borrow page, the core metrics that you need to care about are the total earn. So this is the amount of interest that you've earned on this account and the total market size. So this is the lend and borrow market size on parallel and your borrow limit left, which tells you how much more you can borrow. The other important feature that we have here is historical data around the interest rate. If you're in the market table, the only asset that we have uh, in scope right now is KSM, but we plan to add other assets later on in future launches. Click into KSM and you'll see more details around the total borrow, liquidity, liquidation factors, and also the interest rate model on this table here. These charts are being currently be being developed, but they should be a time series data of the interest rate against dates and the utilization ratio. So you can go back onto here. You'll notice that the total earned amount will continue increasing because it increases every block. Every block is processed for about six to 12 seconds. This is a limitation on the Kusama network. So this is Parallel Heiko. This is our money market. Come on to app.parallel.fi, give it a test and let us know if you have any other feedback. As always, we also have documentations and Gitbook. So we will share the links on the uh, context and uh, happy testing. Thank you all.